Today's medical centric topic is fight, flight, or freeze. What does this response say about your health? It's an automatic survival mechanism controlled by the nervous system. While this response can be helpful in emergencies, chronic activation due to ongoing stress can impact both mental and physical health. Understanding how your body reacts and how to manage it can improve overall well being. 1. What is the fight, flight, or freeze response? Fight. Your body prepares to confront a threat. You may feel anger, aggression, or the urge to defend yourself. Flight. Your body signals you to escape the danger, leading to nervous energy, restlessness, or avoidance. Freeze. Instead of reacting, your body shuts down, making you feel stuck, numb, or unable to move. 2. How does this response affect your body? Adrenaline surge. Increases heart rate, breathing, and blood flow to muscles. Cortisol release. Raises blood sugar for quick energy, but can lead to long-term inflammation if constantly activated. Digestive changes. Blood flow is diverted from digestion, causing stomach discomfort, nausea, or loss of appetite. Tensed muscles. Ready for action, but may lead to chronic pain or headaches if stress persists. 1. What triggers this response? Physical danger. Immediate threats like accidents or attacks activate the system. Emotional stress. Arguments, deadlines, financial worries, or past trauma can cause a similar reaction. Chronic anxiety or PTSD. Past traumatic experiences can keep the body in a constant fight, flight, or freeze state. 4. What does your dominant response say about your health? Frequent fight mode may indicate chronic stress, anger issues, or difficulty controlling emotions. Constant flight response linked to avoidance behaviors, anxiety disorders, and feeling overwhelmed. Persistent freeze mode associated with trauma, disassociation, or difficulty making decisions under stress. 5. How to regulate the stress response. Deep breathing exercises. Helps slow down heart rate and reduce panic. Mindfulness and meditation. Grounds you in the present and calms the nervous system. Physical movement. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and trauma therapy can help process past experiences and build resilience. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.